Oh, look how cute he is. This is so stupid. Most unnecessary thing in the world. Woo! How often do you see koala themed festive earrings? I normally hate these videos. I always find them really like showy offy and, and people always show you their like designer bags and like hundred pound perfumes and like all these beautiful lovely gifts that they've been given. But I always, <laughs> well the ones I watched anyway, they're always so extravagant and fancy and like, ooh, <laughs> I don't know what the word is. So I always said I'd never make one of these videos because that's what I associate them with, but I thought I could just show you what I got this Christmas because this is like a normal Christmas gift haul for me. Me and my family and me and B, we're not crazy extravagant gift givers. I just, I just think we're normal. So I'm just gonna show you what I got for Christmas, which was two days ago. It is currently the 27th of December. With any luck, I haven't taken a week to edit this and it's actually up quite quickly. And this isn't a huge haul and I'm sure you can guess, this isn't a fancy haul, but I just wanted to show you the things that I did get because they're so lovely and we had such a lovely Christmas. Right, the first thing that I'm gonna show you is something I got myself, which is this. To wear on Christmas day which I did, so let me adjust ya. I got this in town right before Christmas. And now I'm gonna wear this every year because I think it is so cute. The first thing I got was from my mum and she actually gave me this a week before Christmas or a couple of weeks before Christmas because I asked her to. <laughs> I really wanted it in the kitchen for Christmas. It's a cookie jar. It's a hand painted cookie jar. Oh, look how cute he is and look. And obviously, because he's been out, he's full of cookies. Oh, we've got, ooh. Oh my God, there's loads in here. I didn't even realize. We've got some Toblerone, some M&S biscuits, an M&S Rudolph, and there's a few Oreos in there. I actually think he wasn't that much. This is from Next. And he just sits so beautifully on the kitchen surface. And he's just so smiley and I love him. And he will come out every Christmas and I will always remember that he arrived on our very first Christmas in this flat. Also from my mum this year, she got me a brand new yoga mat and it's one of these really squishy ones. See how thick that is? It's like the most comfortable yoga mat. This is from TK Maxx and I can tell you it was 12 99 she had the price on. It's a really good yoga mat. They always have loads in there if you want, if you need a new one. I've had mine for like nine or ten years and it's just a bit gross at this point then the last thing from my mum was this actually no two more things from my mum this is so stupid <laughs> but this is a little egg holder and i saw it in one of my favorite home shops that's really near where we live i really really wanted a little egg display dish again this sits on the kitchen surface so cutely and now we will always know when we're running out of eggs i just think that is like a really cute little kitchen decoration as you can tell there was a lot of house themed stuff this year and then the other thing for my mum was this a cute little set of white company winter fragrance candles my favorite scent of all the christmas smells that scent from the white company is my absolute favorite my dad got me socks i know it's boring i know i'm old but they're such good socks these are really expensive socks i think they're like 10 or 15 pounds a pair which is stupid but <laughs> they're his special tennis socks and when I lived at home I would steal his socks all the time. I'm actually wearing some now because they are just so warm and I normally have to wear two pairs of socks. I've just got cold feet and I hate it. These are the only socks that I can just wear one pair with so shout out to these socks. He just gets them on Amazon so if you need some really warm house socks I will leave them in the description. <laughs> and then he also got me the most surprising dad present i don't know how he lucked out because he's one of those like random gift givers he will walk into town and walk into random shops and just buy weird shit like he's gotten me screwdrivers and tools in the past i can't think of other things but like weird presents because he's just funny and he doesn't really care but i think he somehow lucked out this year because this is from Aromatherapy Associates and I only know who these guys are because I've seen people talk about them on YouTube. Um, I think like in the fro, Victoria's mentioned them and she only talks about like fancy brands. 
So he somehow managed to find the fanciest collection of bath oils. Aren't those so cute? And for me, this is my idea of heaven. I have a bath every day and these will sit on the side of my bath and I will read the little bath oil menu. Hang on. I will read that, decide what mood I'm in and then put one of these in my bath. And for me, that's just like luxury, like the nicest little experience to do at the end of every day. So again, I don't know how he, how he lucked out. I should ask him actually. Let's smell one. Let's smell de-stress mind. And look, look cute bottles. Oh, that just smells like a spa. It just smells like a really relaxing spa. So shout out dad. I don't know how he did that, but he did very well. Let me show you what B got me next. B got me three things. The first thing, you're gonna laugh at this. This is a heated electric mat. Think of it like a bit like an electric hot water bottle, but this one is furry and soft and you plug, it, ooh, you plug it in and I normally put it on the back of my chairs. So wherever I'm working at my dining table, I'll put this on and sit it on the back of my back and it keeps my back like pain-free and warm for hours. Same with like watching TV in the evening or even putting on my makeup, I just carry that around and plug it in wherever I go. I actually keep it underneath the sofa, plugged in. So whenever I sit down and wanna have it, I can just pull it out from behind the sofa and have a really warm butt or back or tummy. I've actually got one of these that recently died because I bought it years ago to help with period pain. And it really does, because it gets hot. It's not just like a warm thing. It can get really hot if you want it to. And it helped my period pain loads on the bad days. He also got me. A cute little white company, same idea as the other one. Four little selections of bathy stuff. I think they're like bubbles and oils. Bath shot, bath shot. Oh, they're just called bath shots. Again, you can choose what mood you're in and put one in your bath. Fancy. And then finally, <sighs> I just realized so many of my presents revolve around the bath. This is a gift box from Lush. And this apparently is their sleep edition one. Do you know what? I've read the little menu at the back, but I haven't looked inside of it. Let's see what we got. Oh God. We've got bath bomb, bath bar. Oh, that looks amazing. Oh my goodness. That would literally make you fall asleep. It also comes with a moisturizing sleepy moisturizer. That one is, I think this is a sleepy spray. I use my sleepy spray so much. I use it every night still. Oh, that's cool. Sleepy body spray. Just try it. Oh, do you know what? That's not just lavender. That's like, it's got other stuff in there too. Oh, that is amazing. It's really sweet. It's like lavender, but also really sweet. Okay, that is actually really fucking nice if you wanna try a sleep spray. That one's amazing. It also has like a little eye mask. That one is a sleepy shower gel. God, sorry, neighbor. I love that and it came in the nicest packaging. And that, I'm really, really excited to just take this upstairs, have it next to my bath. I'm gonna be sorted for baths for the next like three months, which makes me very happy. And then the last couple of things are from my brother. He got me, I think this is from him. I think I might have forgotten who got me what, to be honest, but I think this is from him. This is obviously from Home Sense or TK Maxx as well. And it's just, it says bath salt crystals. Helium pink bath salt crystals, but these are just chunks of Himalayan pink salt. So I think it's just salt. <laughs> That's literally just salt. And I have a friend, and she's a very fancy friend, and she has a beautiful kitchen, and she has big chunks of this, this salt on little chopping boards with a very posh little grater next to it, and she grates her salt, which is like the fanciest thing in the whole world. But it looked so beautiful in her kitchen, and he's taken off the tag, unlike my mum. But actually, for the amount of salt in there and the weight of it, it's 1.1 kilograms. I'm gonna use that for my bath and in the kitchen. And he got me a beautiful rustic chopping board because this is something that I asked for, just like a rustic-y looking chopping board. So now my kitchen is just like such a cute vibe. I just remembered that he got me one more thing that I didn't show you. 
and it was this and he got it so he could play it on Christmas day. This is Rapido. If you don't play this or have never played this on Christmas day or any time, it's the best game. You have to, in teams, it's like charades, but you make it with Play-Doh. So if the word was like feather, both teams would have to mold a feather and then their team has to guess what they're molding with the Play-Doh. And it's so funny because the shit you end up making is just stupid and it's so funny watching like the non-creative people like my mum trying to make a birthday cake it's a really really funny game a couple more things i wanted to show you because i've just remembered my mum got me one of these which is the most stupid most unnecessary thing in the world but like i just love it because it's cute home shit this is one of those things that you put candles out with no one needs one of these because everyone can just blow up a candle but if you want to be stupid and fancy like me I now get to put mine out with this. Realistically, I will probably never use this. It might just sit on the side looking nice, but let's try it because we may as well. Right. This candle is called Under the Mistletoe. I got it from Home Sense right before Christmas. Let me show you it on the floor because this is just asking for disaster, isn't it? So you just plonk it over the top of the candle to kill it. Woo! <laughs> Talk about unnecessary gifts. I was with her in the shop when we saw this like last month and she did a very subtle but not so subtle take it to the till. I think that is everything I got. There was one more thing that I bought myself when I bought this headband which was these. Christmas koala earrings. <laughs> I don't know if you know but me and my mum just have a thing about koalas. We always, we always have, as you can see Bruce is chilling just there in his Christmas dress. But I bought these, I saw these in La Visa. Is that what it's called, La Visa? We've got one in like the main shopping center in Brighton. And I saw these and I bought myself a pair and I bought my mum a pair. And we both wore them on Christmas day because how often do you see koala themed festive earrings? Never. <laughs> and I won't lie, those were probably the things that brought me and her the most joy on Christmas day. Or definitely one of the things. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed seeing what I got for Christmas. I just thought this would be a fun little video and give me something nice and festive to do in the days after Christmas. I don't know about you, but I've not really started work properly yet. I have not checked my emails. I'm sort of putting it off for as long as possible. Needless to say, I am extremely, extremely, extremely lucky to get to even spend Christmas with my family, especially at the weird times that we've got at the minute, let alone get all these beautiful, amazing, thoughtful gifts i hope you had a really lovely christmas if you do christmas and i hope you had a really lovely week if you don't just hopefully chilling out a little bit more than usual but i will speak to you very soon and i'm going to start vlogging again tomorrow so i will hopefully have a vlog before the end of the year if not first thing in january love you so much and i will speak to you really soon bye